Hey, this is Steve Keys here with Keller Williams Capital District. We are here for another walkthrough of the week. This week we are here in Albany. This is Center Square in Albany. Uh, this is 90 Chestnut Street. This is a two unit property. It's really got one gigantic unit on it. Uh, and then it's also got a basement unit. So the whole building all together is a little under 4,000 square feet. Uh, all together, public record has it as six bedrooms, three and a half bad, bad yeah, three and a half bathrooms. Uh, now the building was built, uh, we're in Center Square, so pretty much every building in Center Square is historic. The building was built in 1890. So when I say public record says that there were six bedrooms, uh, you're going to see bedrooms in here that we wouldn't call bedrooms nowadays. Uh, but because the building is is so old they're still considered uh bedrooms now they can certainly be used as that they're just not they're just not huge uh, and I, I think one of them has a closet but you'll see it when we get there so the main house of the unit like i said it's about four thousand square feet the main house of the unit i don't have the official breakdown of the square footage so what i'm gonna say now is a guess uh i would say the main square footage of the of the house of the main unit is probably about 3200 square feet uh it might be 3000 the basement unit i think is about 800 square feet uh big that's that's kind of what it looks like to me it might be a thousand i don't think it is though i'm leaning more towards 800 maybe 700 square feet so you got at least 3000 square feet in the main unit five bedrooms two and a half baths um, with an 800 700 square foot bottom unit with one bedroom one full bath so, um, now that we are into the summer market, if you or anyone that you know is thinking about selling a property, now would be a good time to give me a call. Uh, my contact information will be at the very end of this video, or you could check my Facebook page and you can get my contact information there. So we will go ahead and we will get started with the walkthrough. So we're here today in Center Square in Albany. This is 90 Chestnut Street in Albany. Uh, this is a two unit property it has the main unit upstairs for a total of three stories and then it has a bottom unit in the basement so that's four stories all together including the basement uh, the main unit of the house altogether the building is 4,000 square feet uh, the main unit of the house is probably about 3300 I don't have an exact breakdown from public record as to the exact square footage of the unit. So I'm guessing. Uh, I would say the basement unit is about 700 square feet. Has one bedroom, one bath. The main unit, the upstairs, I would say is uh, probably about 3,300 square feet, just whatever's left over. Has five bedrooms and two and a half baths. So center square, pretty much every building in this district is historic. This building was built in 1892. So we walk right in. Typical of this time period. Staircase right in front of the door. And then we walk into a large living area. So this would be the living room, family room area right here. Off this room is an eat-in kitchen. A little bit of a dining area right here. Space for a dining table. And then the kitchen itself. The kitchen's rather large. Got an island right here with a sink in it. Stainless steel appliances, an electric oven, built in microwave. Got the dishwasher in the island. And then side by side refrigerator over here with additional cabinet space and some shelving. All in here. Off the back of the unit, 
small yard to city lot. So small yard into the back. So walking back through the dining area. On the first floor we have the half bath. Right here. And now we'll work our way upstairs. The main unit is a total of three stories. So we'll skip over the bathroom, we'll come back to that. So at the top of the stairs we have the master bedroom. And my camera really wants to drift to the floor. I've told you guys before I don't work out uh, and my, my new phone is heavy, but that's not me. That's better. So master bedroom here, pretty large space. Got a closet right there off to the side. And then additional closet space right here. So these are all just built-in cabinet closets in that space. Master bath has its own access into the bathroom. So tile floor here, got a claw foot tub. Glass door shower with a tile backsplash. Tile surround, not backsplash, that's kitchens. And then a vanity here. So like a reclaimed dresser that they turned into a sink vanity. It's pretty neat. Continuing along, we have two more bedrooms on this floor. This bedroom here is rather small. This is probably like eight feet by eight feet, honestly. So this would definitely be more of a child's bedroom. It does have its own closet, but definitely a smaller room. And then another bedroom here. This one is larger. Decent sized bedroom. You'll notice so far we've been on all hardwood all throughout the home, which you would expect uh, in, a, in a home of this older style. <clears throat> but so far it's all been hardwood. And now we will head up to the third floor. So third floor you can see is carpet. We have two bedrooms up here. So you can see this is one of the bedrooms. Got a closet there. And then one last bedroom on this floor. It's right here. This bedroom does not have a closet space, but as I've said, it's an older style building. So closets were not very common at the time they constructed this house. So that's why you would get uh, what's considered a bedroom on public record, even though nowadays it's not something that we would call. And then on the third floor is the last full bedroom. Uh, yeah, bathroom, sorry. with the shower over there. All right, and now we will head down to the basement unit. And we're gonna go super speed. All right, and we're here. 
So this is the downstairs unit. Right here we walk into the living space. The unit is currently rented. The house you can tell is not. Uh, but this unit is rented. It's a pretty nice size unit. I, I do like this layout. Uh, I mean, for, for, a, for a basement unit, this is a very nice layout. You got the kitchen area right here. And then into the back, we have the bedroom. The full bath off to the back. Does have hookup for laundry back there. Right now they've, they've just got a coin operated washing machine. Um, so I don't know what the exact situation, what the arrangement that they have is. And there's the shower tub combo right there. And then also this unit does have a walk-in closet. So this is a pretty large bedroom. And then there's hanger space and uh, the closet right there. With a uh, back door directly into the backyard. All right, so this is a pretty nice basement unit, I would say. I've seen much worse. This is very nice for a, for a city unit. Uh, like I said, it's already rented, but the lease uh, lease is set up with the option to move. So that is the property. All right, and that is the home. So as you can see, this is a very large home. Um, the main unit itself is a little over 3,000 square feet. So it's very big. It's got a lot of space. Um, the bedroom situation, some of the bedrooms are a little bit smaller uh, than you would typically see in a newer construction style house. Um, I mean, yeah, for the, for the size like that, you're you're only getting a child size bed into rooms like that. They could be used as offices or other kind of uh, things like that. So you wouldn't necessarily need all five bedrooms or uh, use them all as five bedrooms, but uh, you did have the option. So it is a little bit of an older property. Uh, it's, it's historical in nature. Uh, like I said, it was built in 1892. And most of these brownstones in Albany, that's what you're looking at. So um, when you move into, so when you're looking to purchase one of these one of these homes, that's the style that really you need to be that you need to be wanting because they're pretty much all like that. They're all historical in nature. Uh, they're all the design is all very similar. You walk into the front door, and bam, there's the staircase, um, and then all the layout is very. They're all, they're, they're all just very similar. You've been in one, you've been in all of them. The individual features obviously are a little bit, uh, are a little bit different. The kitchen in, in here is very large. It's got that extra L space. I'd say that was probably a closet uh, and someone knocked the wall down. I, I, uh, there's a few quirky things in here, which, made, which makes me think that there were extra walls that had been in this property at one time uh, and they'd been knocked down to make uh, rooms larger like the master bedroom is pretty large uh, and it seems like they've got that that window pane right there it kind of looks like a door uh, I'm I think at one point that was probably its own room but they wanted to make the ma the master bedroom larger so I think at some point some renovations were done uh, to this property to make it more to make it larger in certain areas and more appealing like the kitchen the master bedroom things like that so you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, when I was walking up the, the, to the third floor for the very first time, uh, that's kind of what I had, what I had almost expected. I had expected kind of one giant room, but you, you can see it's got the individual rooms in there. That's something that you could do. It's something that I, that I was thinking of, maybe just knock all the walls down and make it one big, uh, make it one big room. But your master suite on the third floor probably wouldn't be very pleasant. Uh, but it could be a very nice guest room or anything like that. So uh, Check the property information page for more specific information on this property any uh, the most recent prices any uh, and special incentives that are being offered on this property open houses uh, Things of that nature all that can be found on the property information page 
Please like my Facebook page to see more walkthroughs of the week and any of the other videos that I post on that platform. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel has all the videos that, I will, that I've ever done uh, and will ever do uh, across any platform. All of those will be posted on YouTube. So that is your one stop where you can go to see all things video related that I've been doing. So that has been this week's walkthrough of the week. Thank you for joining me and please tune in again next week for next week's walkthrough of the week. Bye-bye for now.